So as the endocrine system is one of the control systems of the body, of course, it's involved in maintaining homeostasis, or you know, a stable internal environment. And something that's maintained at homeostatic levels is the level of glucose in the, in the blood. So we need to have glucose in the blood because every single cell in our body uses glucose to perform uh, cellular respiration, which is how they get energy, which they need to survive. So if there wasn't the right amount of glucose in the blood, um, the cells would all die. Um, we can't have too much so we, and we can't have too little. So we have to have just the right amount. And this is all controlled by the endocrine system and some hormones involved. So what happens, a good example of this is what happens if you um, eat some food. So this guy here is he's having a burger. Um, so what happens when you eat food basically is your blood glucose levels do uh, rise. Um, and then what happens is an organ, which is called the pancreas, so this is the pancreas here, uh, it then excretes a um, hormone called insulin. Insulin then travels over to the liver. So this is the liver over here. Insulin travels over to the liver and it also targets um, just a whole lot of body cells. And what happens is then the liver, as well as, as body cells, they take up glucose from the blood. So if glucose is too high in the blood, the pancreas secretes insulin, so a hormone into the bloodstream, and then the liver and all the body cells remove the extra glucose from the blood until it gets just back to the right levels. Um, and so after that's happened, then you know, the level of blood glucose returns to homeostatic levels or just the right level. So this is the endocrine system and a, a particular hormone called insulin, which works to decrease blood glucose levels. But of course, sometimes, um, blood, so sometimes blood glucose is too high, but sometimes it's even too low. So in reality, there's, there's two hormones that work together to maintain homeostatic levels of glucose in the blood. So we just, you know, we just went through the uh, insulin example. So that was uh, if the stimulus, so this is, you know, this is a stimulus, a stimulus response model. If there's high blood sugar, then insulin is released from the pancreas. So the uh, receptor, the pancreas, detects that there's too much uh, sugar in the blood. It releases insulin, so this very important hormone, and then it targets effectors. So in this case, it's tissue cells and the liver here. So the effectors then basically do work to remove glucose from the blood, and that lowers the blood sugar. So that's the response. So the stimulus, high blood sugar, the um, receptors, or the receptor is the pancreas. This, you know, the endocrine system controls this whole thing. Uh, insulin is released to the effectors, the cells and the liver, and that results in a response which is the lowering of uh, your blood sugar level. So that's a stimulus response model using you know, the endocrine system, and in that case it's insulin. But there's another one that happens at the same time, because what happens if you, know, you have high blood sugar and then it gets to the right level, but then what if it drops too low, you haven't eaten for ages, ages and ages, but you still need blood, or you need glucose in your blood to be able to you know, give all your cells the glucose they need to uh, basically to survive. So what happens if we have low blood sugar? Well, then it's again the pancreas, you know, so that if the stimulus is low blood sugar, the pancreas is again is the uh, receptor. In this case, it releases a hormone, a different hormone this time called glucagon. Glucagon then again travels to, it's the same effector. So again, glucagon travels to the liver and glucagon is a hormone which results in the liver um, excreting glucose into the bloodstream. So insulin takes uh, glucose out of the blood and glucagon puts more glucose into the blood. And of course that then the response is raises blood sugar. So in this stimulus response model, so the stimulus is low blood sugar, the um, receptor is the pancreas, so it detects that, oh, we, got, we don't have enough uh, sugar in the blood. Well, quick, we'll release glucagon, uh, and then it releases glucagon into the blood. It travels all the way to the liver, which is the effector, the one that kind of does the thing to fix it. Uh, and the liver just releases more glucose into the blood, and that raises the blood sugar level. Um, so that's, it's actually two stimulus response models. Uh, one, when there is, um, your blood sugar level is too high, and you have to do a negative feedback system to bring it down. And the other, when the uh, blood sugar level or the glucose in the blood is too low and negative feedback has to happen to bring it back up. So that's uh, one of the really uh, classic examples of the endocrine system 
you know, achieving homeostasis via negative feedback.